What is up everyone? In this video, we are going to learn how to build Xiao. To be honest, I hated that character so much. Although for the showcase, I was like, wow, that's a new kind of place now. But like the way you play Xiao, I didn't like it at all. So after I got it to Friendship 10, I never touched it. But we are going to learn how to build Xiao. And we have thousands of viewers right now. They're going to all teach me how to build Xiao. Right now, I have logged into my friend's account. And she has a problem building Xiao. Her question is, why does my Xiao do small PP damage? I want him to do so much damage, like people on YouTube. Well, let's figure something out. We are going to first take a look at the stats. Well, first of all, your Xiao is low. <sighs> like, I mean, when, when somebody says, why is my character doing X amount of damage? First thing you want to do is your level. Well, I see minus 10 level. It's not going to affect so much, I know. But, wait, are you... Well, probably you benched him because he did no damage, right? We're going to take away Jade Spear. And take a look at your artifacts. Two-piece Gladiator. Two-piece Very Decent. I think that is the best set for Xiao. 21% crit damage with 15% attack. That's nice. Also, a lot of attack. Okay, I'll take that. That's it. Oh, 40 CV hands. What about this? Oh my god. Okay, this is shitty. <laughs> Sorry, this is shitty. But let me see if we can find something better. First thing you need to be able to do when you're building a character is... First of all, you need to know what CV is. CV is critical value, and I did talk about this so many times, but let me talk about it again. So what you want to do is you multiply 2 to your critical rate plus the value of your critical damage. That is your CV. So what they do is they translate the value into what it would have been if that was all into critical damage, right? The maximum roll for a critical rate is 3.9% and critical damage is 7.8%. So they're assuming, what if you got everything into critical damage? So, what I can tell you is, if you have 30 CV, it's okay. It's usable. 40, very good. 50, godlike. With that kind of shit, you can perhaps make a posting on Twitter and get a lot of followers. I don't know, dude. Uh, that's how I got my followers. Um, if you by any chance use Twitter, make sure you follow me. It's Tana TV. Please, I have one follower, and it's my mom. Alright, so we did take a look at your artifacts here and there. It's not that bad. You have a lot of attack percentages. You're lacking critical... Uh, how does my shell look like if I give all the good artifacts on him? Let's take a look at the talents. Bruh. If you want to do big PP damage, you gotta level up your normal attack for plunging attack. You get a pretty huge bonus for your plunge damage. And your Q? This Q gives you extra attack damage bonus for your normal charged and plunging attack. Just like how Noel works. If you want to do more damage on your normal attack on Noel, you level up your normal and your Q as well. So, uh, before we move on, let's see how much damage you can do with Xiao. C0 though. Oh, 36 star. Here we go. So, Bennett is there so that we can get attack, obviously. d look is just there for Pyro Resonance. Um, there's Zhongli for the shield, and there's Xiao. Let's see how much damage you can do. What am I doing? That's not- that's definitely not kind of a big PP damage we're looking for, right? Alright, so my friend says she's willing to use all those books. Okay, so like, to be honest, I'm that motherfucker who would always want to go for efficiencies deep in my heart. So even if I love the character, unless it's good or worth it, I refuse to spend resource. Unless it's for like a paid showcase. Like, when I say some shit like, Oh, if I raise thousand dollars, I'll do a showcase for Xinyan. That's what happened to Xinyan, okay? That's why we had a showcase. <laughs> Anyhow, if you think about it, I just want to let you know to all those F2P players out there that the resources that you have are pretty expensive. There was one time I needed to farm Mora and I couldn't because I had no resin, right? So I ended up pulling for extra weapons and converted all that currency into Mora. Guess how much it costed me to get 1 million Mora? It costed me $200. So your resource that you're farming every day is pretty f***ing useful and meaningful. And this is like what? Like you get 3 per run, right? Give it or take. So that's like 13 times 20, right? Because each time is 20 resins. That's huge. Okay, we wanted to make Xiao do more damage, right? So he is using Prosperity. We get Prosperity. So 40 Prosperity. 
And now, we should hope to God that we're gonna get super lucky when, when it comes to crafting. Okay? We can make 27 and we're gonna ask Yula to give us so much f***ing bonuses. I'm hoping to get 5. Let's go. 5 bonus. <gasps> yo! Yo, that's a dub! That's a dub! We got 4 bonuses! Alright. We're gonna have to level up your normal attack. From the low plunging attack, we get 21%. So... Our low plunging attack became 300% and high plunging attack is 375%. Okay, let's go. I did this. I did Fanny ult. Zongli E. Xiao. Ult. There's some autos here and there. Okay, 50k, 54k. Alright. Did we fix? Did we fix the problem? So, this is why leveling up your talents is so important, guys. Is there any way I can improve this Xiao? So, I know that we've got a lot of attack percentages, right? Do we want to go for extra crit chance critical damage instead of going for attack? This Xiao has 2470 attack. Yeah, there's no ER here and this Xiao has zero constellation. Let's see if we can get nope. critical... Oh, f No consumables found. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm a professional Genshin streamer, guys. All right, hoping for crit damage. Let's go. This one has attack and energy charge. It would be perfect artifact. Crit damage. Ah, nope. oh, What about this one? Nope. Uh, wait, how about we go for Shimia set? What the fuck? You know, we can just ditch Gladiator set. Like, Gladiator set. Crit rate. Nope. Ah! Nope. Ah, another flat. I sheep. Okay. Rate. Nope. Ah. No, 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 no. Hopefully, we will get lucky here. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Crit rate. Nope. Ah, attack. Crit damage. Nope. Ah. Another one. This is the one with the energy charge. Give me the chance. Nope. Ah, she. Oh, this one also has critical damage. Let's see. Crit rate. I mean, one has to give me nope. the other crit roll. It's okay. I got you. Nope. Ah. This hurts my pee, pee This one has crit rate. Let's see. Oh, dude, guys. Defense is very important for Xiao. Do you know why? Do you see that? Because when he gets 100% defense bonus, that means he gets to do emotional damage. Tena, you can do two-piece Shime and two-piece Glad for Xiao instead and give him Homa with a crit rate circlet. He will do big PP damage. I think it's like the same, no? Is there a difference? True, it can be true. So we say f you to the very distant set. 15% animal damage bonus. And we do attack. Xiao cares more about crit and attack instead of a damage bonus. Okay. Okay, okay. This is what's really great about having more people in your stream. You can ask them. Okay. We keep on trying. And they shall answer. Then we, sh we can use this, yes? Okay. Nope. Well, we can't. <laughs> oh, stop! Crit! Nope. Nah! Never mind! Hey, <laughs> you're the one who gave me the idea and you're saying never mind? Are you giving up on double attack set? Because I can't get a nice Shime set? Please don't give up on me. I mean on Chao. Okay, I think this is our last hope. If this doesn't give me the other crit roll, then this account is doomed. She's stuck forever with- Oh! Yes, it's low, but it's okay. Nope. I'm sorry. You have to farm more. So, now the Xiao has more critical rates, less critical damage, but we have energy charge. It's now 111. I would probably keep your Xiao like this because you don't have any other good artifacts. Just play around with your settings here and there. The one thing I really hate about Jade Spear is that you need to get the stacks. And it's really, really hard to see the the stack effects. They gotta make it so that it makes a bing chilling sound. Like when you get that max stack, you're like, bing chilling! <laughs> so you know! Or make it so that he's got a big ass boner so that we can, oh, okay. Xiao's ready to do some big PP damage. That's how we know. But anyhow, guys, thank you so much for teaching me how to build Xiao. Like, I wasn't really thinking about this so much because he is definitely not my favorite character. But also, you guys who's watching this video on YouTube, if you have a better idea, let me know in the comment section, alright?
Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, and then somebody asked me, why do you touch your mic so much? It's because this shit right here is covering half of my screen all the time. My game screen, I look this way, right? But it's through here. Like, like half of my screen is just covered with this shit. Okay? That's why I move it around all the time like this. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Adios! Thank <laughs> you.